It's this magical thing, purpose that we're all looking for. But what's funny about it all is that we need these things to perform. But we don't take a second to realize the purpose is always there. The purpose never leaves us because the very purpose is you. You are always the purpose. There may be another purpose, like being a SEAL or going to college or whatever, but the main purpose in life is you. It really, the key, I think, to happiness in life is find, being honest with yourself and finding whatever it is that's attractive to you, yeah. whatever it is that draws you, whether yeah. it's animation or sculpture or making yeah. clothes. What it's Everyone has a thing. Regardless of how I fucking feel and how depressed I am, the sun is going to fucking shine in the morning and at nighttime the moon going to be there and you're going to look up, these days going to keep going by. So do you let the days go by and look up and you done wasted a year doing what? Or do you just pick it up? All right, well, got to figure it out. Made some mistakes. Life goes on. Let me figure out life from this point. I'm here again today. I'm here again tomorrow. I'm going to be here the next day. I'm 50 years old. I'm still fucking getting after it. It's the moments in life, the decisions you make on a, on a, on a moment to moment basis that add up to be the guy or not the guy. Make up your own mission statement. What do you want to be in life? And once you do that, now you can work with somebody to get better. You can work with yourself to get better. But until you know what you want to stand for, you will always just be sitting down. You'll never stand for anything. It's the great thing about life is it's always your next move. Your next move that counts. No matter where you are. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide, fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. We're waiting to find purpose, We're waiting to find why. We're waiting to find all this shit before we start. The thing about it is this, start now. So when you find your fucking purpose and you find your why, you can get after it. Fucking go back to that moment and just not be afraid. Just, just recognize that I, look, whatever could be out there, I could have it. I had two options to either be that 300 pound guy who sprayed for cockroaches and made a thousand dollars a month and at 24 years old knowing when I'm 50 fucking years old I can reflect on this and think about what guy I never became or I can totally just sack it up and fail and fail and fail until I succeed. Yes man it's always going to be a party it's always going to be a time to celebrate and a time to join friends and or a day to, I mean the bars are always open always open no matter how old you are they're always open you know what's not always open is the opportunity to to check the box in life you know to achieve your dreams that, that's not always open man. the more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your shit, molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. I came with this thing called Perform Without Purpose. And so many people, they need to have a 5K, a 10K. I need to have a, 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 a course in front of me. I need to have something in front of me for me to get my fucking ass up and do some shit. And that used to be me. And nowadays, you know, shit for the past 20 some years, I don't need fucking purpose. It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle? What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? And just that, just me talking about that, I have the hair going up on my arms because it makes me just like, what if? But we're all looking for this golden purpose. Is it this, is it that, is it making money? Is it, is it my family? Motherfucker, the purpose is you. We forget that. Every fucking day I wake up and I don't want to do some fucking shit. I'm like, okay, man, do you want to be a bitch today? Do you want to feel like a little bitch? Do you want to walk around all day knowing that you could, but you didn't? So if you wake up in the morning and you don't want to do something, you don't care enough about yourself. And that's what you need to really research is, man, 
why am I not doing this for myself? Because that is, that is the number one purpose in life, is to better oneself. And I always had this thought in my head that one day I would make it. Yeah. One day I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. And then one day I realized, and I don't know when I realized it, probably when like on paper I'd already made it. Yeah. I realized, yeah. oh, there's no such place. <laughs> like, this is not real. Like, you can't ever, you don't make it. No, no one makes it. Yeah. Like, you, if you, every day, you have to be trying to do better. There comes a fucking day where push comes to shove. Where being mediocre and being like average and shit just fucking burns and sucks so much. You can't deal with it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there. It's always been inside of you trying to come out, but you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much fucking pain and commitment. You were scared you were gonna fail. You were scared if you started, you never finish it. You didn't want to tell anyone about it. You knew it was there, but you never wanted to embark on it. You have to want to be better. And it starts off with you have to have pride in yourself. You, you have to have pride in yourself. You have to have, there's something about you, whether it's your last name, whether it's just the smallest thing, you have to be proud of yourself. And if you have no pride in yourself, I can't give it to you. What you want doesn't make you happy. What makes you happy is who you become in pursuit of those goals. So the growth, the progress, even if you don't achieve it yet, but you start losing weight, or you start building muscle, or you start making your relationship better, or you start to build a business, the building, the progress is what makes you feel alive because we're all made to either grow or die. And the other thing that's so interesting about being alive is that you're all in. No matter what you do, you're all in. This is gonna kill you. So I think you might as well play the most magnificent game you can while you're waiting because do you have anything better to do? You ain't never fucking arrived. And that's just my mentality. You may have more, but you never fucking arrive. You wanna be uncommon amongst uncommon people. Way to find purpose is you must identify what it is that you have to be purposeful in. Right, when you are struggling with what to do, who you are, what's your next move, you are in an identity crisis. You are struggling with just who you are. See, you have not discovered who you are. You have to discover who you are in order to move you forward. Let's say you have no races. Let's say you have no classes, no nothing. You have, there's no purpose in your life. You know, people need to have purpose to get up. They need purpose to perform. You need to get to a point in your life where there's nothing on the docket. There is no 5K. There's no, there's no um, I'm going to get into school to be this or that and still perform to the highest level. One day that thing's going to come up. And if you're not constantly performing without purpose, you're not going to be ready when the time comes. We're all writing a book. What's your book look like? Mm. What does your fucking book look like? Like your, your life is a book. You got a bunch of chapters in your book, but when they close that book, how good was the book? How good was your book? What was the ending to your book? If the ending to my book can be so amazing because of all that was done, not the money, all that was accomplished. The first to do, the man that did this, he caused the merger between this. Because of his commitment and growth to this, the communities were then given this, made education this, changed the way the schooling was blah, 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 gave books, gave computers, gave the, all of the things that can be associated with you and your existence become a part of the chapters in your book. When you get up and you get up in the morning, you go get in the car or you walk out your door, you have a destination in mind. If you go outside with no destination, what do you do? You just, you wander around. Once you don't have a destination, you are going to wander around. You cannot get in your car without a destination. Where, did you, where do you drive? So you are in an identity crisis, the same thing I was in. So you have to find your purpose. It's perform without purpose. You have to learn how to get up and do shit when you ain't got no fucking 5K, no 10K, nothing. Nothing exists. Your life fucking sucks. You're in the fucking dungeon. But guess what, motherfucker? I'm still 
going to get it. There's a confidence to it, man. There's, this, there's a bad motherfucker that's right here, you know, that that's getting ahead of the competition. There's an overwhelming sense of fulfillment and pride and satisfaction with that. You're living. How do you want to live? How do you want to die? How do you want to fucking be remembered? That's, that's it. That's it. Period.